As the 118-day actor's strike came to an end, late-night hosts shared their thoughts on stars returning to work. During Thursday's episode of Jimmy Kimmel Live, host Jimmy Kimmel started off the show by declaring it, Take your actor back to work day here in Hollywood. On Wednesday, sag FDRA reached a tentative deal on a new three-year contract with studios and streaming, following weeks of renewed negotiations. The move officially brought an end to the grueling months-long actor's strike. One member of the Actors Negotiation Committee said that there were tears of exhilaration and joy in the room after the deal was approved. And it only took them a few takes. It was very realistic, Kimmel quipped. Now that the strike has ended, projects are finally able to resume production. But Kimmel had an idea on who jumped to return to filming first, saying, The Hallmark Channel immediately started shooting all 1,200 of its Christmas movies this morning. The host later added, Finally, actors can get back to their real jobs, which is playing people with real jobs. Jimmy Fallon, the host of The Tonight Show, also shared his reaction on Thursday's show to the sag RA strike ending, saying, The strike is over so tune in tomorrow when my guest will be everyone. Since late-night shows returned in early October once the Writers Guild strike ended in September, guests who appeared on their shows were limited on what they could talk about since they couldn't promote any struck movie or TV projects. Later during Fallon's opening monologue, the comedy group Please Don't Destroy, comprised of Ben Marshall, John Higgins and Martin Herlihy, unexpectedly stopped for a quick moment to promote their upcoming movie The Treasure of Foggy Mountain, since they couldn't promote it during their appearance on The Tonight Show earlier in the week. They joked that they were hoping to be rebooked for an appearance on the show now, but Fallon informed them that they already have a full lineup of guests, including Jared Leto and AJR. Once the comedy group left, Fallon added, when the actors heard a deal has been reached, they gasped, screamed, laughed, cried, and then were like, I also do accents. He also pointed out the focus on reality shows during the fall TV season since scripted shows were impacted by the strike. The actors are back just in time. I'm not sure the world could handle another reality dating show, he said before shows such as Love is Blind, The Golden Bachelor, Naked Attraction and Love Island appeared on the screen.